So now I have to model the water which will be inside my test tube. The test tube had a diameter equal to 16 millimeters. I used a wall thickness, we'll call that T, of 1 millimeter. So let's take a look at my circle. I actually am having a ring with 16 millimeters of my outside diameter, my inside diameter here of the ring of the test tube would have to be 14 millimeters. So the water that I model has a diameter of 14 millimeters. Remember subtracting thickness from both sides on the left and on the right. If my diameter of the water is 14 millimeters, then the radius has got to be half the diameter, which is 7 millimeters. And that is the value that I used for my fillet radius. I have my water measured, and I have my test tube. I can use this water and the test tube to create an assembly. But for cosmetics, so that we can clearly see the water to be inside the test tube, let's click on the water, go to the Edit Colors tab, and change it to a darker blue. I have my water modeled, and I also have my test tube. So now I'm going to create a new assembly. Click File, New, and select Assembly and then I click OK. The first thing I want to do is view my origins so I know where in space I'm going to put my test tube. The origin represents the intersection of three planes top, front, and right. Also I see an X, Y, and Z axes. I'm going to select on the test tube and put it right at the origin. Next, I'll use Insert Component, click on my water, and insert the water into the test tube. I need to create a few mates. First, I'll click on Mate, I'll select the cylindrical face of the water, and the cylindrical face of the test tube. Concentric is selected by default, and then I'll click OK. Now, my water is inside my test tube. I'm going to drag the water out. The two are concentric. The next thing, the bottom spherical face of the water must be mated inside the bottom spherical face of the test tube. So I will select on mate. I'm going to select on the spherical face. And then inside the tube, rotate this around and select the inside face of the tube. Concentric is selected by default, and I click OK. Now I have the water inside the test tube. I didn't create the water to be the entire length of the test tube, because for a test tube, the working volume is slightly less than the actual volume that the test tube can hold, because you don't want your sample to spill. So let's see how much water we have inside our test tube. If I click on water and go to properties, the mass properties of the water inside the component is approximately 12 grams. Let's save the assembly. I select on File, Save As, and I will call this assembly my test tube and water. Let's do one more conversion to show how with density and knowing the mass, you can convert from grams to milliliters, a very common unit in the chemistry and biology lab. Let's take 12 grams. Again, I want to rewrite the unit when I convert. I have 12 grams as my mass. I know my density is 1 gram per cubic centimeter of water. I have grams and grams. I have centimeters cubed. I need a relationship between centimeters cubed and milliliters. So with centimeters cubed, I know that that's equal to one milliliter. 
centimeters cubed crosses out, grams crosses out, and notice I'm left with 12 milliliters. So 12 grams of water is equal to 12 milliliters of water. Another important point is 1 cc cubic centimeter is equal to 1 centimeter cubed.